Let's we'll start it off. Just how impressive was what the two tackles were able to get done last week in that environment for two guys to step into what they did? Yeah, I definitely think that, uh, you know, when the outside looking in sees it, yeah, they see, you know, two, you know, backup swing tackles come in and, you know, play a great game. But, you know, from the inside looking out, you know, we, we know what those guys can do. They've had, you know, countless game reps before and have done it, you know, at a high level. So, you know, it wasn't shocking to us. What's the key to stepping in when you're called upon, like, okay, you just take over, got to go? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, trusting your ability, trusting your technique. You've done it in practice. You've done it in training camp. You've done it in preseason. Just another opportunity to go out and prove what you can do. So I think that's really the biggest thing is, you know, don't let the, the moment get too big for you. How much changed or if anything changed with those two guys in the game as part of the game plan? I think there was, you know, a little bit with, you know, getting them, you know, settled in early. You know, as an offensive lineman, you don't, you don't like the, the first play of the game to be a five-step, five-second ball holder throw. So I think there's some, some with that. But I think for the most part, it's, you know, still running, you know, our stuff. We expect, you know, guys to be able to step in and execute the game plan at a high level, no matter who it is. What was it like being on the other side and kind of having to deal with the noise after having played there and all that? Yeah, you know, I definitely... Being on the offensive side, you know, in Detroit as, as home, you know, you never notice the noise because you're really not out there for it. And you're on the sidelines, you know, talking about what happens. So you really you hear it sometimes, but not really. But, you know, I'll give give the fans in Detroit a, a hell of a lot of credit. I mean, that was a loud stadium and they did. They did a fantastic job being loud. And I think, you know, we handled that adversity well with our communication as, as best as we could. You know, there's definitely some things we need to clean up with with pre snap stuff and, and making sure everybody's on the right page. But I mean, you're going to have that in every game. So, you know, you look at the good, you look at the bad, fix the bad and move on to the next game. What's Gino, Gino like? Let's like? say, what's Gino like in the huddle for that overtime where you're going out there? And yeah, I mean, he was the same first drive as last drive. You know, it's it's cool, calm, collected. It's you know, get in there, make the call for you know what our play call is, and then execute the play. You know, it doesn't doesn't change because it's overtime. You know, you're not pressing anymore. You're just out there to execute whatever play's called and on to the next play. When you look at Carolina and what they do with the pass rush and, and Frankie Lulu. The tackles for loss, why is he able to do that? I think he's a uh, one very instinctive player, but also very physical, very downhill, and he's got some savvy ability to defeat a block. I think he's a you know very good off the ball backer who's also got a clear pass rush ability. So I think he's definitely a very dynamic player they have. With the running game, Pete talked about consistency being the key. You, know, you guys have done some good things at struggle times. What, yep. what do you want to see with just getting that? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, always starting with the run game, you can never have a negative play, you know, they're going to happen, of course, but you never want to be behind the chains. So I think it's all about staying on track, you know, you always talk, you know, efficiency in the run game, you know, you want those, you want a, you want a four yard gain at, at the minimum, you know, obviously, you're not going to get that sometimes it's three two, and sometimes you bust one, but I think it's just all about being consistent in the run game, knowing that the big runs will come and they'll hit whenever they do, but you know you can't can't give up the negative. You can't you know leave a backer unblocked in the hole, stuff like that. Your defense, your defense is one of the best of the league in zero yard runs. Mm -hmm. How demoralizing! I mean, you know what that run game feels like when yeah. it gets going. How demoralizing is that when the defense can come in? And you know, it definitely it definitely takes the air out of alignments you know feeling a little bit when you keep getting you know zero one yard runs and stuff um uh you know and then it tends to lead to you know more throwing the ball so it it's it's got its gives and takes so but yeah you definitely you know either side of wherever you're at you know you don't want to you want to take those away you don't want to have those so it's always that constant battle I, th I think you came out for like six plays at one point was that an equipment thing or was that a good oh no I rolled up a little bit but mm, taped her up good to go so what you, when you when you guys watched the tape, what did you think of Olu in a little bit? Of time? Yeah, I think the you know the couple reps he got in there, you know he he came in, you know made his calls points, did a fantastic job. So you know that's what you you know rolling guys in and out all the time with you know tackles being hurt, whatever it is. So you know it's the same next man up mentality. Thought he did a great job. What have you noticed about Jason Peters in the week he's been here? Yeah, I think he's uh he's definitely taken on kind of like a, a leadership role for those tackles. And, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of young tackles we have on this team and just, you know, uh, he's given his knowledge on, on, you know, every play, every set that he can, you know, in the film room, he's speaking up for those guys. I mean, he's played, I'd go out and say probably more ball than everybody in that room of us combined, uh, more snaps. So, I mean, he's got, you know, infinite knowledge that he can, you know, help those guys with, 
with the island that those tackles live on. So I think he's been been great with what he's done. Is he like the offensive line's dad now? Say again. The offensive line's dad now. Oh, uh, yeah. You could you could call that. Yeah, yeah. Takes that kind of kind of role mentality. You know, he's almost double the age of you know a rookie these days. So. <laughs> Anybody else? All right. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.